Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another video on my channel today with another video about Skibidi Toilet Battle and as you can see in the title we have another guide or at least another like way to farm diamonds. I already made a diamond guide in the past and if you want to know how I got 232 million uh, gold then you can also check my gold guide or my endless guide I re uploaded recently and also you can see I'm now leaderboard rank uh, 2 with highest stage 635 so thanks to Foleypix, Sheeps and uh, JQ. However, today I want to show you something that I didn't feature in my diamond guide because in my diamond guide I showed you the uh, different ways on how to make diamonds and I also mentioned that boss. But there's one thing that I didn't mention that's what we're gonna do today. Okay, that boss mode. Essentially it respawns every 20 minutes and stays alive for 10 minutes. In that way we have 10 minutes to do as much damage as possible. However, as I found out, something that I didn't know back then is that you can attack the boss and leave, then rejoin and it will be back to zero and you can get new rewards. And today we're gonna try how many diamonds we can actually get per boss and then we can calculate how many diamonds we could get like per day or per 8 hours or whatever. So today I'm going to show you how to farm that boss in the apparently most effective way. We're just gonna wait two minutes till it opens. Okay, boss spawning in three, two, one. We started with 833,000 diamonds, and then we see how many we have uh, after that time. So, essentially, what we're gonna do, we're gonna spawn the Titan TV Man 2.0. We also need to make sure that um, he stays alive. And what I'm doing, essentially, I'm trying my best to reach 30 million as soon as possible. And once I have that. Ah, oh, come on. We're still alive. We're gonna start claiming. And then we have 440 diamonds, 31 white chest, 5 blue ones, 1 epic and 2 legendary. Then we go back to the server and essentially repeat the process almost immediately. You can also do that at different stages, of course, if your damage is not as high as mine, you might... Um, you might uh, stop at lower things, like at lower, lower times. Basically what you could do as well, what people recommend, is to spawn him, wait for the first hit, boom, you already have... How much do you have at this point? 170, and then you could already go out. Same as you could uh, go out here, at uh, 120. But I will try my method, and after that we're gonna try the other. The reason why I'm taking the long run, like doing 30 million and then rejoining, it's because I'm afraid of like losing too much through loading times because loading times, especially if the server is overpopulated, can be kind of a hassle. Therefore, for me, it's better to like go on the longer run. At least it feels better. Yeah, because this like joining game often takes long and I think like if I do that too often, first of all, I might be stuck like I am right now. Then I have to rejoin. And then we can go on, but we already lost some, uh, we already lost some time. Yeah, this can happen too. Why is my UI not loading? This is not good for my for my for my tests. But it's realistic. That can happen. Many reconnects have these issues. To be honest, when I'm doing it myself, like privately, then I do it on an emulator. Uh because it's easier to do if you have like map buttons. Like I'm binding certain points on the screen with like keys. So when I press, uh, I think it's X, then it clicks on the lobby button. That's a lot faster than just going there with my mouse. Yeah, and we have that issue again. I actually don't have that issue on an emulator either. I mean, if you're playing on phone, you probably don't have that issue in the first place. But if you're playing on PC, I definitely recommend an emulator. These loading times are so annoying. Oh, it's nice. I'm spawning with rewards. <laughs> I don't know why, but I'm spawning with rewards. I take it. Okay, we have... Uh, I don't know how many left. 10 seconds left. Maybe I can get that box at least. Yeah, seems so. But probably not the last one, right? Nope, that's not it. Okay. Okay, I don't know how many boxes we made, but we have 837,000 right now. 
So that's at least 4k diamonds we just made in effectively less than 10 minutes, <laughs> given that we had so many issues. Then I'd say we're gonna see us uh, after the cooldown, and then we will try the other method. Okay, so I prepared my setup right now. I hope you don't mind the graphics, at least for this uh, for this guide. <laughs> you know, otherwise my videos are pretty pretty good in terms of graphics. And you probably can't see that right now, but I will give you a screenshot. I have a lot of buttons on my screen mapped for the different actions like spawning, claiming, stuff like that. And yeah, that makes that method also more effective. And now we're just gonna wait till the boss respawns, which is in 13 minutes. Okay, boss is respawning, we go in. And now we're gonna do it real fast. The first impact will be what we will be using to get... Um, to get rewards, and from there we just collect and leave. Okay, first collection is done. And we go out. We're mainly focusing on the diamonds. We had 837,000. And so we try how many we can get now. Hey, even if I do it super fast on mobile, it works. For some reason. But still, what doesn't work is like... The, um, respawning. Spawning fast doesn't work. But going back to lobby, and as soon as it appears, going back in, we, we're almost losing no time. That's awesome. Just the spawning here. Okay. Sometimes I'm even too slow. <laughs> But I'm trying my best. I think it's too late. I think I broke it. Okay, then I'd say we're gonna go back. And to summarize it, we started with 837,000, I think 800, now we have 842,500. Means we made almost 5,000, which is, I think, a little bit more than we had before. So it's probably the more effective thing. The question is, if I did it right, and second of all, if it's worth it, because of course it's a lot more stressful, and we of course don't know what it's like, um, like what it is in comparison, because on my strategy, I think we get more legendary cases, and I think, if, I'm not sure if we even get a red one, but however, this can also be 
like quite beneficial. So you gotta decide if you go the 30 million or the 4 million uh, damage path. But however, this is definitely the most effective thing you can do. But effectively, we did, let's say, if we if we round it and maybe take out the the issues, then we can make 5,000 diamonds in 10 minutes. That's like. If you if you do the cooldown as well, that's like ten thousand an hour, and in like six um, six to eight hours, you can do sixty to eighty k diamonds a day simply from this, simply from the raw diamonds in this boss battle. We didn't count the boxes, we didn't count a vending machine or anything. We just simply count diamonds, and this is already 60 to 80k if you do this for 8 hours in one day. Of course, it's a lot of work, especially the fast method, um, and my legend may vary, especially because my Titan TV event is super strong. Maybe the Titan Cameraman, which is recommended for this, will have a better result. Who knows? I didn't try it out yet. Maybe I do in the future, but however, I can definitely recommend this farming method to you if you have struggled getting diamonds. The others work as well, of course. That the others are basically how I made all my diamonds so far, and you know how many we spent in openings. Um, but this is another method that definitely can give you some fast cash if you need it. With that, I hope you enjoyed the guide. If it helped you, it would be nice if you leave a like and subscribe to not miss out on further skibbity toilet battle videos. And then I hope you have a wonderful day. I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.